Obesity is affecting the lives of more and more children. When their condition gets serious, they come here to see Dr. Mohammed Didi. This morning, he's seeing Leon, his mother and grandmother. Hello. Good morning. Will you fix some boards on the bed? His doctor says that at five, Leon is the weight of an average 17-year-old. Good morning, Leon. Good morning. There you are, big boy. Do you want to fix him? I think he's hurt his leg. All right. He's hurt his leg. That's because of all the flying he's doing, isn't it? Yeah. You fix his leg for me, then. Why do you fix his arms? All right, fix his arms. Fringe. Oh, he's again. Mark, come with me. Leon's not an isolated case. Dr. Dee Dee is seeing bigger children at a younger age. It's maybe to do with their diet, with parents working quite often, the amount of time they spend watching television, how much time they spend outside being physically active, and the type of foods they eat. Doctors can only do so much medically. His chat with the family is about trying to find out where the problem really lies. You mentioned last time when I came that you thought that he's, the rate of weight gain had improved. Yeah, yeah that's, I think that might be thinking because he's gone a lot taller. Yeah. This is going to really help him with his yeah. activities. Yeah. So they do yeah. sort of push man. They, yeah. they don't like um, sit him out of anything, yeah. whatever the other children do, yeah. he does with them. Yeah. Leon, Leon, put that one back, please. Yeah. Leon, Leon, that's a bit expensive. Yeah. There's a good boy. boy. There's a, Thank there's you. A good boy. But whatever it is, I think if we can increase his physical activity, it's going to be helpful. Leon's mother is convinced his weight is due to genetics rather than his diet or lack of exercise. Mum and I know yeah. there's someone else there to yeah. back around because I've done, yeah. I know what we've done, everything. Yeah. I mean, I've just yeah. paid £300 yeah. for a dog yeah. to take him for a walk. Yeah. We've done everything. Yeah. Let's check Buzz's weight. Buzz is two kilograms. Wow. <laughs> He's two. Dr Dee Dee's organising blood tests to see whether the cause is genetic, but he isn't confident that it is. That's great. Leon is a difficult one. He's been seriously overweight for some time. I'm not hugely optimistic about finding an underlying cause for it, but I think that uh, he deserves us looking for that. Leon, yeah. how is Buzz doing? Fine. Buzz is fine. Just need to be active like Buzz, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Charging like around. <laughs> thank you very much for coming. Oh, thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's good. Parents often assure him they're doing their bit, but the big question as far as Dr Didi is concerned is what really goes on in the home. School's out on the East Liverpool council estate where Sharon has come to meet her son, Leon. It's a journey of 700 yards, but Leon, who's five here, struggles with walking, so Sharon and her mum stand by with a wheelchair. Let's see if we can make it to the grass. Once you get to the grass, I'll let you sit down. I've got a competition on. See who won. Who won? I did. Did you win the day competition? You never. I did. Oh, that's brilliant. Well done. Well done. Despite Dr Dee Dee's advice to increase Leon's physical exercise, Sharon thinks she can't make him do any more than he already does. All right, then, do you want to sit? Do you want to sit now? Do you want to have a little sis? How much more activity have I got to increase on a five-year-old? At the end of the day, he's five. He's not 18, I can go running six miles and go in the gym and all that. I'll, I'll push Leon to his activity until I know Leon's breathing is getting affected, then I'll stop. Sharon doesn't think Leon's weight is down to what he eats. She believes it's a genetic problem that hasn't yet been diagnosed. There's that many cures for everything. So surely they've got to find out what it is. It might turn out that it's going to be nothing. They might get to 18, whatever, and be this six foot lad who's built like that. Then fair enough. But until he's that age where he's, I know he's going to be like that, then there's got to be something there, hasn't he? There's got to be. What colour are you going? The blue ones. So what are we going to look for first? The blue ones. His mother insists Leon's diet is healthy. As we film for two hours, we see how hard she works and the difficulties she faces. 
he's left his piece of birthday cake in school. Oh, the bag on the wheelchair. Wait, 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 yeah. excuse me. Stop that. Okay. I don't want to run in the Calm down. Count to five, okay? And calm down. Have you calm down now? Oh, look. Okay. Is it in this bag? No. Yeah, look, is it in this one? No. Well, how about, listen, no. listen, how about strawberry, apple, orange, banana, all chopped up in a bowl, and don't give Amy none? No. Okay. Well, I'm going to have a cake. Do you want me to go and get you some in a minute? No. Okay. Listen, do you want to wait for 20 minutes and then we'll go and see Reese? So can I have a little What, you can't see Reese if you're crying? <coughs> Is that what you're looking for? Please. <laughs> See? What did you say to Nanny? We had a bit of a thing because Leon wanted chocolate cake. Leon's not used to having chocolate cake. But it was a party at the school. Now, I am not going to Leon's school and saying, Leon can't have that party because he's not allowed there. I am not going to isolate him any further than what he already gets isolated as it is. Within minutes of eating the cake, Leon's mother was offering him another snack. We to bake some strawberries. We to bake some. I'm talking to you. We to bake some strawberries on. Yeah. Or banana. Leon. Leon. Do you want me strawberries on or banana? Leon's mother is fiercely defensive of what she feeds her son. There you go. I just wish someone by okay. put a camera in the corner of my house and watch my son, then come back and tell me I'm doing something wrong. Because I guarantee they won't find nothing. Guarantee. Mushy peas. Yeah, mushy peas. Okie dokie. No, we don't need the broccoli, we'll eat the rest. Oh, right, I'll take the broccoli off. Did you come out here? Have you told you getting you've got your new teeth? You're getting new front teeth, aren't you? I've got new teeth. Let's have a look. I'm not talking man. <laughs> <laughs> a month later we returned to Leon's house. Could Sharon be sure she wasn't overfeeding him? Now, there's no question that you feed Leon healthy food. Yeah. But when, when our cameras were here last time, we were here for a couple of hours, yeah. Leon had some cake. Now, he'd just been to a party, so as you say, you don't deny but him did, treats. Did you see the size of the cake that Leon had? It was only a small piece, exactly. but then he had Weetabix with fruit piled on top, and then, then he had a, what seemed to be a pretty big meal. I mean, that was, seemed to me to be quite a lot of food in two hours. No, why would there be a lot of food when the Weetabix is his fibre with his fruit on? So it's not on the on Sweetabix anyway. And it was fish, mashed potato and veg. So how is that a high intake food? But that could be the problem, couldn't it? That although he's getting good food, he's getting a lot of it. No. I'm not a doctor, but it struck me as quite a lot of food in a short period of time. And was it chips and pizzas? Uh, no, it wasn't. It was all good, healthy food. Exactly. And uh, you are clearly a good, healthy mum, but you could be loving him too much. You could be giving him loads of food that's good for him, but a lot of it. Is that potentially an issue? No. No, it's not an issue. At the consultation, Dr Dee Dee had encouraged her to give Leon more exercise. So why was she using a wheelchair? But a five-year-old boy, should he have a wheelchair? He should be able to walk. Well, if it's a five-year-old boy, he weighs ten stone odd. Answer me that. But wouldn't the exercise help reduce the weight? Isn't it the other way around? No. Leon does get exercise. That's what I'm saying to you. Leon does get exercise. Leon can go for a walk. Leon can be out all day. I saw Dr Dee Dee and he was urging you to encourage more and more exercise. Yeah. And then the next thing I saw was, was Leon in a wheelchair. And I well, think halfway people... home from a school after yeah, spending he... all day in school. He did, but he's a five-year-old lad, isn't yeah. he? Leon's use of a wheelchair came as a surprise to Dr Dee Dee. I was not aware of this wheelchair till it came to light about a month ago. And I hope to take this matter up with uh, uh, Leon's mother. I think it's an unhelpful thing to have that wheelchair. His weight does limit his physical activity. That is accepted, but I think that the wheelchair is unhelpful and uh, I need to win her over to handing that back. 